Hello and welcome to Science Fun with Miss Mary. Today we are going to do an experiment about vibrations. If you picked up a kit from the library, inside it you will find a folded plastic wrap, a rubber band, and some, and some pieces, pieces of tissue paper. For this experiment at home, you will need a bowl or cup or even if you find a plastic cup, um, just something that we can use to put the plastic wrap over. Um, so it could be a bowl or a cup, or if you only have a plastic cup, that works too. So before we get started, my question to you is, do you think we can see sound? All right, let's get ready. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your bowl or cup, open up that plastic wrap, and cover, cover it. We are gonna want to pull it as tight as you can. So I'm gonna hold it on one side as I pull the other side, just to get it nice and tight on there, no wrinkles. Okay, once I get it pretty tight, then I'm gonna grab the rubber band and put that around. Now that the rubber band's on there, I'm going to pull it tight one side at a time. And if you need some help from a, a friend or a grown-up, but I was just pulling it a little bit tight and then putting that rubber back on just to get it nice and smooth on there. The next thing you're going to do is take your tissue paper and ball it up nice and tight. Oh, I want to set it on there so it doesn't bounce off. And you're going to do that with all the sheets of the tissue paper that you have. All right, now that that's ready, the next thing you're going to have to do is figure out where you can listen to some music that you could turn up pretty loud. Um, I haven't tried it with my phone, um, but if you're able to turn it up pretty loud, it might work. Um, but I am using a CD player for this. You could also use the speakers on your TV if you could turn some sort of song on and turn that up. Um, then this is the time to find that spot. All right, let's start our experiment. Now we're gonna start with it a little quieter and then I'm gonna keep turning it up and we're gonna see what happens. And you, and you could do the same with however you're playing the music for your experiment.
one popped off. There we go. Well, depending on what color tissue paper you got, mine being yellow, it looked like popcorn popping around. Did you notice anything when you were trying the experiment? Were some parts of the song, did the tissue paper move around more? What happened the louder you kept turning it? Did you have a similar conclusion like mine? Were your tissue papers moving around? When I asked in the beginning of the video if you thought we can see sound, did you think that we were going to be able to see these tissue paper move around? And based on your experiment and how loud you could turn up the music where you are, were you able to see them move around? Sound is a form of energy. It consists of vibrations that are passed from particle to particle. In air, the vibrations of sound are transferred by particles of gas that are too small to see. What is sound? Sound comes from vibrations in the air. Your ears capture those vibrations. Your ears change the vibrations into signals that your brain can understand, and then you can hear them. Vibrations in the air can't be seen. Wind is a good example of an air vibration. How do you know it's windy? You can't see it, but you can feel it on your body and you could also hear it. All about the ear. Your ears capture sounds when they, then they direct the sounds into your head. They are like funnels for sound. Ears have a lot of tiny parts that you can't see. That's because they're inside your head and they work together so you can hear. And here's your ear canal and your eardrum. I hope you had fun today with science. And until next time, goodbye.